Okay, everyone, we're back. This is more of our Let's Play of Spongebob. I'm not going to say the whole name because it's a mouthful. And this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com, and this is a game for you. Yep, so let's go talk to people. Oh, do you know what's funny? Actually, wait, we need to go up here first. Right. I kind of rushed last video. But, oh, who is that? Dame McNarrow. Mackerel. Mackerel. Yeah. <laughs> Mackerel. Hi, lady. Mackerel. Well, hello, laddie. Laddie. <laughs> she was never in the episodes. Why are you standing in the shade? <laughs> it's a beautiful, sunny day. Well, I have sensitive skin. It's very delicate. She but actually kind of has a pig nose. It's a beautiful day indeed. She's, she's the fish version wow, of Miss Piggy. You sure do talk funny. <laughs> Where are you from? Like I'm her. from the English Channel. Sort of sounds it's like her. It's a beautiful oh, place. Except, You'd uh, like it, I'm quite sure. The water is much warmer here in the Pacific, but you know what they say. It's not the heat that gets you, it's the salinity. Yeah, huh. So, what brings you to Bikini Bottom? The beautiful beaches, Crabby the fish charming fish. townsfolk, yeah. and the legends of buried pirate you know, treasure. Did, like, crack, I find trading. it all well, so well, great. Well, apparently, but during the break, oh, the I passed the swimming part really good, you know. Just swimming so far. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway, when we had to pick up the brig, like from the bottom of the pool, 10 pound brig, um, well, he told me to swim on my back and put it on my chest. Swim backwards, you know? Sort of like doing the backstroke kick with it. Well, apparently, I didn't hear him when he said swim on your back. Oh, Did you going. say buried treasure? Uh, what buried treasure? Anyway, um, apparently, buried treasure. I actually yes. swam forwards Legend holding the brig down and <laughs> started sinking precious. all in the brig underwater. Like, yeah, like you had a person's head going yeah. under the water. Pushing the head underwater. <laughs> And I was ba I was basically drowning the theoretical person brick. Where did thing. you from what I've been told? And I could barely I swim. Well, I guess I should be Indeed. And right when I I'm about to get out enjoyed and, our um, the instructor said, Stop, stop! Okay, sorry about that people accidentally hit the button, but she's saying that the buried treasure is long this beach. Oh. Yeah, I would not want you saving is he the person you want saving your life? Cause I wouldn't want him saving mine. What? Hi! Um, right back at you. Holding your head underwater mm -hmm. <laughs> while I try to swim you to safety? Yeah. Well, I did it perfectly sure fine. I can. Next yes, time. I certainly am. But what else would you expect, man? I own the salon. I must set a good example for all my beach brothers That's and sisters. That's weird. Weird. Where's his stinger? Oh, wait. Never mind. His stinger. <clears throat> mm. It must be like a stub. What's a lawn? Because you clearly a can't see it. Yeah. No! Well, uh... Yeah, killed but it's Mr. more than just the it? beach. Crocodile it's a hunter. Yeah. And Steve Irwin. Experience, just man. Right we now. don't just tan your skin. But let we the sun tan your kill you soul. Soul. Oh, you skin cancer. I'm not so cancer. sure I want my soul <laughs> tan. Just looking at you, I can tell you really need to get your soul out into the sun more often. It's very pale and spotty. I think it's breaking out in a rash, man. Oh, my soul has a rash? Yeah, it's all icky. Gross, man. Really gross. God. Can I borrow your it's sunscreen? Conversation. I don't think it's working for you. That's because I don't use it anymore. Oh, I have reached the limits of natural tanning, the so-called Hamilton Horizon. I don't need to block any of the sun's rays. If anything, I need to amplify them. Amplify the sun! Die. Why don't you just cover yourself in cooking oil? <laughs> cooking oil? That's not a bad idea. <laughs> That's how we're getting our revenge on them. Yeah. I'll trade you the sunscreen for it. Deal. Oh well, I'll leave you to your frying. Thanks, dude. Later. <laughs> Go up here, grab, and drop. One bottle of cooking oil as per your request. All right, dude. This is gonna be great. Soon I'll be nice and flaky. Oh yeah, you Don't will, so Steve Irwin. I think you're pretty flaky already. So, can I have the sunscreen now? Sure, kid. Here you go. Now leave me alone. I got some broiling to do. All these guys wow. that are like generic Fish people, they all have like the same killed. voice. What do they think of next? It's probably the same person who just recorded, tried to record with different accents. Yeah. Oh. So, considering the development development team wasn't very big. Ah. Oh. He's intentionally killing himself with the cooking oil. He's like, yeah, man, it's going to sound exciting. Palm tree underwater. 
I thought they grew best in arid climes. Sure, whatever. Hi! I swear, I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. You can't prove that. I was only saying hi. Oh, well, I'm busy. Busy doing nothing, that is. Okay, have fun. <laughs> wow! Well. Pretty lady. <clears throat> Don't we get closer <clears throat> to the pretty lady? Well, looking, digging with Mr. Shovely and Kyle, but yeah. You go to the little spots and try to get over. this one. Are you sure? <laughs> I believe. Of course, SpongeBob gets on his knees. Wow! I found it! A treasure chest full of bus tokens. Oh well, I better take a few for later. God! Yeah. You gotta come to the beach to dig up bus tokens. Bus, yeah, bus tokens. Of course he doesn't take all of them. Just take a handful. And I mean, his hand isn't very big. All I know is he might be off by one. I mean, he does. If he, like, <laughs> took all of them, he never had to, like, go dr run to Krusty Krab like he always did. Mm -hmm. Now, what you do here is you give her sunscreen because you're, you're gonna need her. You'll see. Here you go, my lady. This sunscreen is industrial strength. SPF 100. <laughs> Why, thank you, kind sir. So gallant. You may now borrow my parasol. Oh, well, actually, I wanted to borrow your umbrella. <laughs> you tickle my funny bone so. All right, here's your <laughs> umbrella. Use it in good health. Cheerio. Thank you, my lady. Cheerios do give me good health. Thank you. They're good for my heart. I realize you cannot use the D-pad if you want to play this game. Okay, we need to go to downtown. I love the beauty screen. I think we to talk to Patrick or we might have to get him. Hi I'm again, sure. Patrick. Ooh. Now we gotta... I'll be back. I'll be back. Sorry about that. I just hate having to listen to the reaction. Ooh. Wait, I have already heard it before. Here's a bus token, Patrick. Thanks, SpongeBob. Gee, I wonder where that bus driver is. Oh my god! Whoa, boy, I knew I shouldn't have eaten those burritos for breakfast. His uh, clothes kind of shrunk in the wash, didn't they? Uh. <laughs> Hello, the Mr. Wash? Bus Driver, sir. I guess, I don't know what I'm saying. Where does the bus from here go? The bus goes to the ancient Mariner Valley. Home to the magnificent Neptune's paradise, where happiness and merriment are the meat and potatoes of a festive diet of <laughs> What? Are the meat and potatoes oh, of the festive yeah, diet Yeah, diet of fun. Can we get on board? We have our bus tokens. I'd love to say yes. Unfortunately, we aren't going anywhere in this weather. What are you talking about? It's a beautiful day. It's a weather of You'd flowers, okay? That, you? you can take Look us. over there. That cloud is just waiting for me. What if we get caught out in the rain? I, I don't even have an umbrella. No thanks. Oh I think I'll just stay here. An umbrella to go over your I bus. Uh. An umbrella? Then will you take us? I guess so. No, no. Where's the bus? It's getting washed. I'll get it when or if we ever leave. I gotta go. That guy okay. has an attitude. Bye. Give him that freaking umbrella. Here's an umbrella, Mr. Bus Driver, sir. Can we leave now? The wind is picking up. Can't you smell the coming storm? I, I don't know if it's safe. Besides, that's a parasol. Oh, oh my god! Please. I just gotta get to the park. I just gotta. Well, okay. But don't say I didn't warn you. Yahoo! Neptune's paradise. I think we're free of I have a bad <laughs> feeling about this. Oh, wait, no. Okay. At the same time. I have the feeling today will be like no other day! Jeez! Great! Now I can't see anything! Just a moment.
Oh, Want to hear the most annoying the sound in the whole sea? Yeah, that is pretty annoying. But I didn't say anything yet. You don't need to. Ah! Oh, Silence, you ignorant <laughs> baboons! <laughs> Enough! Oh, Enough! He's purposely being annoying. Get back up here in your seat and stop making so much noise. <laughs> and that goes for you too, tough guy. <laughs> Finally! Uh, looks like rain. Mm, I can barely see where I'm going. Uh, hold on, Whoa, everybody! The rain's the rain's the rain's rain's Stay here until the storm blows over. Um, Patrick, this doesn't look like Neptune's paradise. Uh-oh. Good thing the bus driver has a parasol. Yeah. Hitting rock bottom. Okay, and with that note, we're gonna have to sign off now, because we just went over time. It'll be fine, whatever. Goodbye, people.